This video shows an alternate solution to lesson three, practice exercise B. The general outline of this script is much like the first solution. As we saw with exercise A, this version of the script uses the make feature layer tool to create feature layers used in the call to the select layer by location tool rather than feature classes. Line 17 creates a feature layer called park and ride layer, which references all of the park and ride points in the state. Then I create an update cursor on the city boundaries feature class, just like in the earlier solution. In this solution though, note that line 28 creates a feature layer, current city layer, by passing where clause as an argument to the make feature layer tool. This means the feature layer will refer to a different city on each pass through the loop. The two feature layers are then passed as inputs to the select layer by location tool on line 33, finding the park and rides within the current city and putting that selection into the park and ride layer. Then unlike the first solution, which got the number of selected park and rides out of this uh, result object returned by the select layer by location tool, in this solution, I use the get count tool to get the number of park and rides. Also note that in this solutions finally block I use the delete tool to clean up just current city layer, not park and ride layer. That's because the object held in park and ride layer is the same and is needed throughout all iterations of the loop, whereas the object held in current city layer is different on each iteration and is only needed in that particular iteration. Thus, it's a good idea to dispose of it as part of the loop. The rest of the script is then pretty much the same. 